What's up guys, Shadjus here. It is Saturday, April 27th. I'm gonna hit a few yard sales. Uh, I only got about an hour, hour and a half this morning cause uh, we got an event to go to around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. It's a MS walk. If you didn't know, my wife has MS, so we do that every year. So we hit up a few sales before that and then maybe hit up a few after, we'll see. It might be around 10 30 11 o'clock before we get out of there i'm not sure um then i hit a church uh, community sale they said there'd be about 30 people there we'll see and there's a couple other ones close by so see if we can pick something up in a short amount of time i mean this is usually the best time to go so it's 7 45 right now Let's see what we can come up with Just leaving that first sale, that turned out to be like an estate sale. Uh, didn't see a whole lot of good stuff in there. They did have a Bose uh, CD player, but they wanted two hundred fifty dollars for it. So, uh, I mean, sometimes you can even buy those for two hundred bucks and make some money on it. But I didn't feel like putting out two hundred fifty bucks today. But uh, the only thing I picked up was this uh, Vera Bradley uh, little wallet thing. Give my wife. There really see nothing in there that uh, is too interesting. On to this little community sale, we'll see how that goes. Might be a little late there. It's at 8.30, man. There's people already looking to set up, so damn it. 
slacking. Should have came here first. something out of this place. We can get in the parking lot and park. all right guys just leaving this uh, little community sale this church I did pretty good man I got some video game systems I got a DVD or a book set that might be worth about 75 bucks and I got one item and I paid $40 for it I could maybe get me three to four hundred dollars and which was cool the guy had the thing it goes with there so he uh, tested it for me and showed me that it works. So at least I know for sure that it works. So I'll show you guys that in the recap. Uh, right now I'm done with the yard sales for now. We may go back out a little bit after the walk thing. So see you in a little bit. If not, we'll just do the recap.
that. Wow. Oh, the cars. I love cars so much. I don't even know which one to choose. Are you choosing one? Yeah. I don't even know which one to choose. There's so many. There's a Batmobile. Hey guys, Shad Juice here. <clears throat> got back from that, uh, actually today is Sunday. Um, I got done with that community sale and we went on the MS walk thing and then, uh, I went to a little flea market for a few minutes, uh, after that. And that's all I did. Uh, so I yard sale for like an hour, but I got some pretty good stuff in a short amount of time. That shows if you can put out some effort and move quick, you can still get some deals if, with limited time. And, uh, I did pretty good, uh. They had a community sale at this church on the outside parking lot, and I went around like three times, and like the last time I went, I picked up two things that's probably going to net me three to five hundred dollars, so with fifty dollars spent, so, and there was plenty of people there, but you just got to look stuff up and know what to look for, guys, uh. So we'll get started. If you've seen the video clip, uh, one of the first things I went up to, they had a, a, a Wii bundle and a PS2 bundle. You see one at uh, $20 for the Wii bundle. Had the charging station. Two Wii modes. I might uh, sell the Wii modes and the charging station together because it looks like it has them batteries on the back. So I don't know how that'll do. I've never sold it like that, but we'll see. Two Wii remotes, two steering wheels, the Wii itself, and uh, a Wii stand, power plug. I don't think it didn't have the AV cords. And here's the uh, the big Wii sensor bar. I think he used the HDMI cable because it's got the uh, Wii to HDMI thing for full 1080p, which is cool. I'm not sure I'm going to go, but I don't like selling Wii's, Wii with everything together, so I'm going to part it out, probably. Here's the power supply for the mini PS2. It was missing the power cord side, but I got so many of them cords, I'm not worried about it. And, uh, got a PS2 controller, the system. He wanted, he had 20 listed on the Wii and 20 listed on the PS2. So, uh, I'll show you what all I got in this deal for. I paid 35 bucks for everything. I got Rayman Legends on a 360. I got a NBA Street Volume 3 on the PS2. It's complete. I guess PS2 games are listed at 50 cents, but like I said, this is a bundle deal. One of these wasn't in that deal. That was in this deal. Metroid Prime. Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon. I don't know if any of them are really worth anything, but they're just decent games. 360 ones I'll probably keep if I don't have. I know I got Metroid. So for the, uh, the PS2, the Wii console and all the accessories, and these four games I paid 35 bucks for, which to me was a pretty good deal. Um, usually them uh, PlayStation 2 minis, if that works... I didn't check the game, any game in there. Just got it taped down. No game in there, but I'll show you if there's a game in the Wii. I'm going to uh, test this stuff for you at the end of this video. and uh, You see what happens when you buy used stuff. We'll see if it works or not. So No game in the PS2. So that's a pretty good deal for uh, 35 bucks. The PS2 Mini, I can usually get $55 with a couple games on eBay pretty easily. Alright, cleared some out the way. I had another sale. I picked up this uh, Mizuno glove. It's model number. Where to go here? MFX 1220. Paid two bucks for it. Uh, Looks like they're selling for around twenty dollars. Actually, looks like a lot of the strings are out of the holes there. I'm not a professional glove buyer. I know you can make some money on it. Somebody can redo that, probably. Try for fifteen bucks or something. I don't know. Small buy-in, so I ain't worried about it. 
came across another sale. Um, I first picked up this watch at the sale. It's a Unic. A Unic Macware watch. Um, I couldn't really find a comp on this. I've seen like one, only one sold of a Unic thing, and it was like 10 bucks. I got to do better research on it, like I said. Uh, I only paid 50 cents for it. It feels like nice quality. It also came with a USB charger. So, I paid 50 cents for that, so there's no loss there at all. Lady also had these uh, VHS tapes, and I asked her how much, and she said free. I said, cool. So we got four brand new Maxell uh, six-hour tapes for free. Not a bad deal. Uh, the guy I got the uh, PlayStation and Wii bundle for, I went back to his booth. I seen this Hill Figure Athletics bag. I was like, oh, that should do pretty good. I just noticed before I started filming this video, I didn't even open it or nothing, that the logo on this side is pretty roached. So I don't know if that'll make a big difference or if these even sell that good. I didn't even look because I paid two bucks for that bag. And I got this Nintendo wallet thrown in for two bucks all together. So that was a good deal for two bucks. I mean, if that bag don't sell for nothing, I can use it for something, I'm sure. Another deal. I had a bunch of DVDs, so I picked up Seasons, uh, that 70 show, five, four, one, three. So, one to five. I don't know how many seasons of that show there was. I'm not sure. I picked up some weed seasons. We got season three, two, final season, seven, four, six. So, I think there was like nine seasons. We got seven of them. I don't think I, ha I have the last season on DVD, so I might keep that. That was a really good show if you haven't watched it. I enjoyed it. So we got all them seasons there. This homematic back massager, which they said was a buck. And then I found a Guitar Hero Metallica on the Wii. The Metallica ones are always good to find. It's complete, nice condition. I paid seven bucks for all of that, I think. Not a bad deal. Um, okay, the two biggest pickups I got there was this one this this one took a while i was i sat there for a couple minutes trying to find out some info on this so lord of the rings uh reader's companion and it's brand new the uh the seals come off but this thing is super heavy it's probably at least five pounds at least five pounds so it's super heavy and it has lord of the rings part one two and three and then a reader's companion and uh, I was probably having a hard time looking it up because this is from the UK. You can see it was $75 in UK money. But uh, I finally found a sold listing on it. And uh, it went for $74.99. Plus shipping, I think. So I should do pretty well on this. Uh, I tried to get it for 5 but they went budge on 10 But that was cool. I, I didn't have no problem paying 10 bucks for it. So, I think that's going to end up being a good score. You guys will see in the future if it sells, what it sells for. And this was a pretty good score here. Uh, well, hold on. I missed the pickup here, guys. We got this box of PlayStation stuff here. It said games were a dollar each, which the games were pretty bad. It really wasn't that good. And everything else in the box was five bucks. So... We got the console with a memory card. I did pick uh, two games up. He gave them to me for a buck. We got Crash Team Racing. And the Superstar Dance Club hits, which you'll see why. We got a DualShock PS2 controller. DualShock PS1. That uh, 
Yeah, the thumbstick's pretty bad. You got a generic controller. And there's all the cords in there. And there's like two dance pads for that dancing game. I think that's all that's in there. I didn't really look. Yeah, it's power cords, TV cords. Okay, we got a cable cord. Let me get rid of that. So all that was five bucks was a pretty good deal, or six bucks. So I'll take that deal. And then I went back to this guy's same booth. Like I already went there and this is what I bought, but I went back and I checked something else out and it's pretty cool, man. This is my biggest find in a while. We got this uh, camera lens here. It is a Tamron AF AF 70 to 200 millimeter, and the model number is A001. If you want to look this up, um, he showed me it works. He had a Nikon, it only works on Nikon cameras, and he had a Nikon camera with him. And uh, it zooms in really good. And what he says, like, uh, it's good for sports. And it also works at night really good. So that's the catch on this. This is like a $700 um, lens, brand new. And I bought it for 40 bucks. And looking on eBay, they range from anywhere from $200 to $400. So the lens looks pretty good. Like I said, he showed me it works. So I know it works. And I got a Nikon camera myself I can check it out with. But... Pretty happy about that score. I should do pretty good on it. So I got all that within an hour. I went through that. There was a state sale first I went to. Uh, I'm trying to think if I even picked anything up there. Oh, I did. I got my wife like a two, $2 Vera Bradley little wallet. I forgot. To... I'm sure you guys be all right not seeing that. So that's all I got at that estate sale was nothing too great you've seen the footage in there if i miss something let me know but uh i did go to the flea market i have had a hat guy there i've been buying a lot of hats from brand new with tags but he's sold through them all and hopefully he's gonna get back to me and i'll buy a bunch but we got a georgia tech brand new with tags we picked that up and then he had these uh old florida marlin shirts Brand new. It says MLB. Established in 1869. It's made by Trench. Then on the back. It's got the Marlins. These are from 1993. So they're pretty much vintage now. New with tags. Size large. I got three of those bucket piece so i should maybe do all right i mean i know there's other people buying this stuff at the flea market i don't know if they're listening on ebay or not so we'll see if you've seen that uh there's a little clip of looking at some cars that's what this was from we got a stomper and this cool uh diddy kong car from donkey kong 64 which is pretty neat this is made by racing champions that was pretty cool to find out in there. Just throw that up on my shelf. And uh, my kid got a couple cars. And then also at the flea market, we picked up some old rap CDs. These are at least, they're all at least $5 a piece. I might keep one or two of them. We got uh, Above the Law, Black Mafia. I think this is from, yeah, this is a Ruthless Records produced by Easy e which is cool. This was from 92. I think one of my buddies told me there's a song with Tupac on here. Which I'm not seeing it listed. But we'll see. We also got the uh, the Click Game Related, which that's got E40 and Be Legit in it, which is kind of cool. Might keep that. This is from 95. And I think this was worth a decent amount of money. It's called Cam Never Again. I don't know what this is. I've never listened to it. But 
Pick those up for a buck a piece. That should do all right on it. This album buy probably wasn't good. I am going to keep one of them. We got Young MC, Stone Cold Rhyming. That really isn't worth much. It's got that Bust a Move song on it. This is uh, The Doors' Strange Days. Um, it doesn't have the record in there, but it wasn't too... Uh, the sleeve and the, the cover is not too bad condition. I don't know how good the one I have is. We got uh, Michael Jackson Thriller. The album's in good condition. Outside isn't the best. Then we uh, picked up uh, Cream. Uh, this Rally Gears. This has uh, Sunshine of Your Love on it. So... I paid $7 for those four things. A little bit too much. I don't know why I bought them, honestly. Like, none of them are really worth anything. And we also grabbed this. Uh, Mizuno. I think it's a catcher's mitt. I found one comp looking uh, looking it up online. And it was going for... It sold for 25 This one's kind of rough. But this is kind of like how the other one looked. Try to clean it up a little bit. So, my dad grabbed me these tapes at the uh, thrift store for three bucks. Brand new Memorex DB90s. These will go for about 20 bucks, I think. But uh, yeah, guys, that was it for, uh, I didn't get a whole lot of hunting time in Saturday, but I think I did pretty good. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys are out finding stuff. Like, even if you got a short window of time, just give it a shot. You'll never know what you'll find. Um, I'm going to test these systems and show you if they work real quick. Be right back. All right, guys. We got the uh, PS2 hooked up, ready to go. Memory card and everything. Try out this uh, NBA Street 3 we got. And we'll see, see if it works. Loading up, which is a good sign. And there we go. The game is a little scratchy too, but a lot of the uh, games on PA's PlayStation 2s, even you know, if they're scratched up, they're pretty good. All right, we're saving data or whatever. We're not going to get too far into that, but this one works. On to the next one. All right, guys, we got the uh, PlayStation 1 I got uh, ready to go. It's all hooked up. I'm going to put in this Crash Team Racing. Now, look how scratched that is. We'll see if it works. Also, uh, using a... Uh, one of my other controllers, since that other ones, the joystick was messed up because I don't really want to sell that like that. It's been a little noisy. Some of these old consoles are pretty noisy though. Might need to get a different game because this one's uh, not acting too good. It's taking way too long to load up. Alright, we got a, a different game to put in, but we noticed a problem. This open button's getting stuck. So it's not wanting to shut very well, so we need to get that fixed. Let's try this other game. Got in this arcade party pack with a bunch of... Uh, uh, NES games on there. Hopefully my camera doesn't die because we've got about 30 seconds left. Alright, 
right, this one seems to be loading a lot better. That's why you don't pay top price for used things, man, because it don't always work right. Alright, it's loading up, so. Uh, I don't know how good this system is really working. Alright guys, we got the Wii hooked up now. Um, I've had these two on the chargers for a few minutes. I don't know if it's going to be enough battery to sink. But we'll see. Not a big fan. When you got these uh, strings on the chargers, they're hard to... Uh, they're hard to get on the base. This is annoying. Let's try to get them synced up here. Yeah, there's not enough power. Not enough power. I don't feel like messing with this for too long. So, the Wii U's came on. We're going to see if there's a disc in there. Don't seem like it. No disc. Guess we could put some batteries in here. Hold on. Alright, we got the Wiimote. Some batteries in there. And it seemed to be working right a second ago. I hate... There we go. There's a the hand. There's a the hand. Nothing cool on here. Nothing cool save. No, no NES games or nothing. Seems to be working. I do have a copy of this Guitar Hero Metallica I could throw in. I just bought. Make sure it reads games. So this is working. That's good. I don't know. I might sell it all at once because since it's got the, uh, it's got two nunchucks, two Wii motes. It does have like the wireless sensor bar, which is nice, and the rechargeable batteries and stuff. I might just sell it all at once. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure I got a couple Wii games I can just get rid of. I'm selling the Metallica separate, but so this one works. That's so cool. So all the systems work. I'm probably going to take that PS1 to uh, GameStop. They're giving $15 cash for it right now. Just to get it out of here. I got plenty of them up there. I need I need to start getting rid of some. And I have one listed on uh, Facebook for 30 bucks, and it's not moving. So Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are finding. Peace out. Peace.